Joining us now in a CNBC exclusive interview is Richmond Federal Reserve President Tom Barkin. President Barkin, welcome back. Nice to see you. Thanks. Greetings from Roanoke. We're doing our annual rural conference here and hearing about the challenges and issues faced by our small towns. Oh, well, love to get into that in a bit, um, President Barkin. But first, just your reaction to the inflation data today. How did you read it? It was pretty much as expected. Uh, you know, I put particular focus on the core, uh, which is still running a little over five uh, percent year over year. And, um, uh, you know, we had some good news uh, on energy, but there's still more to do, I think, uh, on the to get core inflation back down to where we'd like it to be. So in other words, more to do. You're talking about a May rate hike. You're in favor of it. Well, inflation is going to come down in part because demand is cooling. And I definitely see uh, demand cooling. And then uh, you've got credit conditions. I'm watching that uh, carefully. And, of course, the lagged impact of rate heights. So those are the things I'm watching as we get into the, into the May meeting and beyond. But in other words, inflation is not down enough for you to, to feel confident that it's heading back to target. A good thing to look at is the median. And we've had good months and bad months on the headline, but the median's been over target literally every month since it got started. So I am trying to find some uh, comfort that we can get uh, inflation that is being uh, felt by people in the economy, on average, in the median, down to where we'd like it to be. But isn't it trending in that direction? That There is significant progress, even on, on shelter, which is a big culprit of this higher services inflation, which I know you're watching, and the, the core inflation levels. Pretty much everything is moving in the right direction at this point, isn't it? Well, I certainly think we're past peak uh, on inflation, but uh, we still have a ways to go. And uh, shelter, you mentioned, it came in at 0.6, which if you multiply that by 12 is over 7% uh, year after year. Uh, core services came in at 0.4, which if you multiply that by 12 is about 5. So if you want to get down to 2%, I think we're still a ways from there. So are you thinking about more than one rate hikes? Because the market is pretty much thinking May and done. But, but is it your view that you're going to have to do even more than that? I mean, my, my point of view is that you react to inflation as it comes in. I don't uh, have a view that you, you find some particular number that's the perfect number and you hold there or you uh, work from there. I think uh, if inflation comes in hot, you've got to do something about it. I think if demand starts to cool, you can take that. Uh, on board as well. And so I'm looking very hard at what's happening in demand. Uh, I'm looking very hard at what's happening in the labor market and, of course, looking very hard at what's happening with inflation. Well, let's take up the demand question because demand is starting to cool. And we've had a, a pile of evidence just in the last few weeks of that fact, haven't we? Yeah. And I, I mean, you saw consumer spending in uh, February. We'll get another read before the, the meeting. Um, but I also watch just the day-to-day -day, uh, credit card spending. And, and I will say uh, uh, January, quite an elevated month. Uh, February, it started to cool a lot. And what I've seen in March is actually flat to even uh, slightly down on the credit card spend year over year. And so that gives me uh, some comfort that we are seeing demand uh, starting to cool, not fall off the table. I wouldn't call it cold. I just call it cooling. Do you think we can still pull off a soft landing? You can pull off a soft landing? Well, I'm focused on getting inflation under control, and I think we can get inflation under control. And, and that's really the metric I want to I wanna use here. You obviously want to do that with as little damage uh, as possible. We'll see what happens uh, on the demand side. We'll see what happens on the price side. 